Apples new socks. New socks. So that there's new shoes on them. New boots. I mean, they're still some boots, though. They are nice new boots. They're not kicking for the women's fucking wall. <laughs> when it comes down to shoes and women, I know how it goes. I know exactly how it goes. And now it's a beautiful thing to have to pay for it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah? Not right here. What? I didn't quite hear that. Just walking to the mirror. From American... Between Hero and Independent. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Kayla Carell made an account for the Tumblr for her song, though. No, it's not her song. But it's set up so that if you're in it, you can take over it. Which is kind of messed up, but that's her. Right, because that's how it should work, right? Mm hmm. Okay, so looking pretty good so far. Uh, the controller. Xbox controller. The one that plugs in. <laughs> I know you're just trying to play a smart ass, but we we don't play the smart ass role. We don't take kindly to the smart ass. Role. You don't plug it too deep. <laughs> you only asked me to plug it. Oh, now we have ourselves a real smart ass. <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> Here I am oh, trying I to get Twitch lie. and everything all nice and good so that, you know, everyone can enjoy me playing around, playing on this video game and all that. And here you are, making it all nice and, nice and difficult. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's supposed to make my life easier, don't you know? <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, that's right. Da 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 Hmm. 
Hmm. Interesting. No log on to clerk. Hello, I thought you want to work. Do 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 do. What? Don't do this to me now. Dang it, this guy's those don't work. Uh, I had three viewers there all wondering why I'm playing this video game, and here I am telling them, sorry, I'm testing this all out, so everything works. And they all disappeared. And I feel bad. Although you can barely hear me as it is. Okay. Figure it out. Okay. There we go. Sorry, everybody, if you're still watching. Did you ever get into the door? Yeah, yeah. Did you ever get into the I don't know. Okay. There we go. Holy shit. I've got over 20 views on Twitch. Oh, oh yeah, no problem. Yeah. Well, he's like a brother of mine. I think of him as a brother, and he's now at that point because I used to do him shit and just give him like a slap or something. And then he turned around and was like, "You gotta stop slapping me. I like it too much." What a weirdo. <laughs>
Hi Tom, sorry that I just posted, I just wanted to post that real quickly and all that because I decided to keep streaming and all that since everything seems to be going pretty well and I haven't done a stream in a long time. But I'm doing pretty good here, Tom Jimbali. How are you doing today? Sorry if you can't really hear me too, working with some low quality stuff here, but I'm making it work. Sorry, I'll see you when you get back, hon. Okay, come back soon. Hey, that's always a bonus there, Jim Bobby. Oh, oh poor Simone. Uh, this is the first time I've done it with these characters. Um, the farthest I've gotten is... I think I've only gotten up to the ghost ship. And then I kind of stopped there because I had to start working again and all that. I used to play this a lot when I was a child. My uh, friend from high school had a copy from Japan for the original Super Nintendo there. So it was really fun to play on the Super Nintendo. Is this your first time uh, seeing the game? Jim Bobby there. I didn't know this about Duran. This is kind of sad. I'm gonna admit that I didn't know about this and uh... This kind of made me sad. Yeah... I remember playing Secret of Mana, the first one, a 
lot. thing I'm oh definitely if there is ever a game that they should have uh well aside from them the fact that they remade Secret of Mana on the PS4 and the PS Vita aside from making it just all 3D graphics and all that and maybe a couple new updates on the music and all that there wasn't a difference to the game so there's no real reason to buy it as far as I was concerned but, you know, a lot of people who have never played the game, I would definitely say it's definitely one of those games that you should buy and try out. If you're into the nostalgia feel for the old RPGs and that. But one game that they should definitely do another rehaul for and update a bit more and make and expand on the map a bit more is definitely Secret of Evermore. If you ever played that, that's another good one. Very lacking. Very lacking. I agree. I agree completely there, Bobby. Yeah, boy! You're speaking my language. I love it. Uh, Secret of Evermore was so good. I it just it felt better with the alchemy. It it was um, I enjoyed the experience system a bit more for leveling up your attack skills and all that. It made more sense to attack a hundred to defeat a hundred enemies, get your skill points up for whatever weapon you're using and all that. Um, your alchemy skills and all that instead of doing a percentage wise like they did on Secret of Mana. It was just the game had an all-around better feel, in my point of view, but if they made it uh, two-player compatible so somebody could have used the dog a lot, they would have been a lot better, I would have found. Just to have that option, like how Secret of Mana, if you had the multi-tap for the Super Nintendo, you could plug in three controllers and use all the characters. Then again, if you owned a multi-tap for the Super Nintendo, you were like a god amongst people in the gaming community back then. I don't even think I've seen one in person. And so far, it would seem like all my streaming ability is uh, stuck to um, Super Nintendo games, Nintendo emulated games, and possibly some of the older games. None of these games from 2008 and up. I just don't have the hardware for it right now. The fact that I can barely hear my own voice in the background kind of makes me a little uneasy. Because I don't even know how how much you can even hear me right now. I'm staring at the bar just seeing if I'm even speaking loud enough to even get picked up. No, there's not a bad selection for games and all that that I can play. And all that. It's just, I did, I'm trying to help a buddy on his uh, YouTube, his Twitch, and his Mixer at the same time. And I've been... Oh, definitely. The Golden Age of Gaming died in... I want to say 2003.
Yeah, I want to say 2003 for the gaming age di really dying out was when it really started getting more towards the line of, um, you know, more hack slashers, more guns gore galore. You know, there's no real... Mm, there's no real... What's the word I'm looking for? Variety in the gaming industry now. Like, the only reason to get Call of Duty Black Ops 4 nowadays is if you're huge into the zombies. Yeah, right? Now days, three hour games over. Yeah, pretty much. Back when games, you had to actually sit there and play for 24 hours of just non-stop grinding for your levels, and then you actually get the six hours of actual storyline done right after. I think the last best game that I played before the Golden Age, just after the PS2 came out, or just before it actually, I think we grabbed a game from, for the Nintendo 64, that was Mega Man 64 that we grabbed, one of the better games. Yeah, Mega Man 64 was the last great game that I played from an old era console. And then Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, after that, that was the last game on PS2 I could honestly say was perfect in its own way, aside from all the little condip shits that everybody had about it. This is easy. Ha! <laughs> 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 oh, <sh> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, that was too funny. Uh, teach me about class changing? Slap! Get off my face! I thought this was the area. Yep, and then that. Oh, I just wanted the I just wanted the cash, man. Take a drink. Okay, where is it? Thanks, Jim Bobby. Have yourself a good one. Hey, you know where to find me, man. As soon as I get my recording stuff figured out, I'm going to be recording with my buddy, Corey. And uh, we're going to try doing some more recent games. But if this is what I'm capable of, then this is where I will be. So have a good one, Tim. Or Jim.
Mm-hmm. Your Majesty, it was my fault that the Crimson Wizard escaped. I cannot forgive him, not only for the injury he dealt me, but to the insult of the kingdom as well. Until I triumph over this wizard, I cannot return to the castle. So I see. Understood, Doran. Take care of yourself. Title! Mm, every time I see him, he sees, he sees more and more like his father. Oops, we're just gonna push him a bit. If you've never played this game for remote, you should always try and make every hit count. If you hit one, it only gives you one. If I can hit two at once, it will give you two. For each hit you give, it gives you a point. Those bars at the bottom represent how well you're going to be able to fight. And pay attention to your characters. They'll give you the. They'll let you know when they're ready to attack. Later on, whenever I make the playthrough, get to the point of the actual class changes, you'll be able to get more powerful abilities like the the, the prophet there had, told, had said, but during the class changes what they don't tell you is what the abilities do. So it could be either a single target, it could target everybody, it might just be an AoE. It really depends on the characters you choose between the six and their three class changes that they're able to get for you to get stronger. And during your class changes, you can also get more assorted groups of magic. So it really depends on who you're using. Since I chose the warrior, the magician, and the cleric off the bat, I'm going to have a tank, a good DPS, and a healer. Now here's the problem with this. This is one of the harder modes that I've been told for this game. And this is from years ago when I was still playing this in high school. The, um... Let's see here. From what I've been told, one of the easier groups to you would use would have been Beastmaster, Thief, and a Magician. The Magician, for the obvious DPS of the magic aspect, Coca-Cola need more Coca-Cola. Let's fix that. So yeah, the Magician to give you all the magical attacks that you need. The Thief turned into a ninja by the time I was told about this. So the ninja had ninjutsu, which is a possibility in this game. You have to get to the class change first for it, which I'm told is easy enough as it is. From what I was also told too, is that your first class change will be in the 
the magician's hometown. You'll go to the north to the ice place, and there you should be able to do your first class change after one of the bosses there. Apparently, as well, I will have one of the most difficult boss fights at this time. Never made it that far. Couldn't tell you. I've gotten to the ghost ship, and that's as far. Aside from that, until we get to the ghost ship, I know a bit about this game. But I've never used Duran off the bat. I've used Hawk, the Thief, the Amazonas, the Magician, the Cleric, and the Beastmaster. But Duran I've never done, so we're doing this together. I'm afraid we're stuck here for now. Now, in the beginning here, you can go around, you can talk to everybody, go blah blah blah, go try and get stuff. You'll get told you can't buy anything or anything like that. So you can run around, talk to everybody, like a moron, try and get stuff, which won't happen. So you gotta go to the inn. And what do we got here? Ooh, somebody's asleep. So you've already seen me get slapped once, if you're now just starting to watch. You haven't seen me get slapped once, so I gotta make up for that. So if you're just coming in now, here you go. Uh, I wasn't trying to do anything while you were asleep. See? Shook my head. Ow! So, being a pervert has its, uh... Doesn't work in this game either. Okay. Uh, wake up during the night. I'm not going to tell you why, but I'll just tell you this much. You cannot leave during the day. You have to leave during the night. So it's a good thing that this game gives you the option to wake up during the day or the night. You can even wake up, if I remember, during the day as well. Okay, you see how it says Man of Holy Day there? That's one of the best days in the game. If you ever need to... You're, yeah, you don't need to see that. That that was, uh, that was nothing. That's just uh, something else. So, where was I going? I don't really remember. So yeah, during the day you can't get out, so you gotta go during the night. And Mana Holy Day, like I said, is one of the most important days of the game, so pay very close attention to the day cycle in the game. They do matter, where in some games it doesn't. But in this one, even for a Super Nintendo retro game, the days and nights have very much something to do with the game. Welcome to the Rabbi Forest. Pay attention to wherever your character is pointed as well. Whenever you get close to somebody, more than likely he will, point, they will point in that direction. Like I said, pay attention to your character. He'll let you know when you're ready to attack too. If you haven't been watching my character, watch him. He's ready. He's giving you all the hints that he's ready to attack again. But if you attack somebody, yeah, you gotta charge back up. You gotta catch your breath. Now, I've had a couple people argue with me over who your first character should be. Now, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't fucking matter. Pardon my French, but it really doesn't matter. You can use whoever you want, whenever you want. At the beginning, at the end, whoever. You're going to get all three characters at the exact time, no matter what. You'll get the first one when you're able to get start heading towards Wendell. You'll get the second one when you get imprisoned after Wendell. After you got those three characters, you can meet the other three characters that are traveling across the world at the exact same time. Some of them will give you great hints. Others will lead you on false adventures. And you don't want that. Sometimes there's an item back here. Sometimes there's a chest. You just gotta look. Sometimes there's an extra enemy that doesn't pop up until you go back there. Always check the map. If it doesn't say you beat you won, you still got somebody in your area to go see. So, Alright, so now that we're close to Wendell... Let's head towards Wendell. Now, 
Okay, no problem. Sealed by an invisible force. Well, there's nothing we can do here, so we're just gonna head out of here. It's the middle of the night. I've slept all day. I've been sleeping all day. You know, I worked a little bit to get here during the night, you know. Let's just check out what this town's got here. It's a whole lot of nothing, just so you know. And I mean it. It's a whole lot of nothing. There is a barn over here. It does have an item shop. Some stuff there. There is a weapon shop down here. And there should be this person right here. This person is important when you first get here. When you get here, you should always either first thing, because I've done this many times where I've tried to get out of here, can't do it because I forgot to talk to this one person. You need to talk to this one person talking about a strange light coming from above the lake. And then saying, we will see you again tonight, maybe. So after that, you're clear. You're good to go. But first, we gotta see if we got some new weapons here we can get. Oh, look at that, an iron sword. That's much better than what we've got. Let's get it. So this is your inventory menu. You can go through all your characters and that, the stats and all that, that's down here. So as you can see, you can go from fire to knight or gladiator. Now, like I was telling you before, knight or gladiator is what you can become, but you have to pay attention to it. You have to really think about it, because during the old days, there wasn't such thing as a save filing system until you were at a specific point. And at every specific point, it was about, I don't know, like four levels away from where you were, which is a long time. And of course, I'm still using a PS2 and the PlayStation and Xbox buttons instead of the old buttons. There we go. We got our new weapon equipped, so we'll be able to do some more damages. Get them DPS up. Gonna sell that. Alright. So now that we got our weapon. Will you be staying with us tonight? Yeah, sure, why not? Go ahead and rest whenever you like. You can, ahead of time, come and get your room for the inn, and then take off, go talk to the person, grab whatever equipment you need, and then come back here. It's up to you what you do first. I usually get the person, and then I come here. So then we'll rest for the moment. They should just automatically send us to a cutscene. Just like that. But remember, you gotta talk to that person at the lake talking about the strange light otherwise this whole event doesn't happen and you'll have to do it over again you'll have to get another 10 luck so rather than waste your time may as well just do this So bright. So, after the whole event, of course, curiosity always killed the cat. So, head off. Follow that light. This is why you gotta be careful when you gotta watch your character, like I said. You gotta watch them to be ready. They will corner you, they will gang rape you, and then they will have their way. There's one extra thing about this game, I'll show you when it pops up, but it's one of my favorite things about this game that makes you actually have to think about it. Because if you don't do this one thing, it can make your game a living hell, or it can make everything so much easier. So you have to, when it appears, I will sh 
go in depth about it. Oh, I thought it was going to be right there. All right, save point. These are your save points. There are two different kinds. Golden and regular stone. Excuse me. Bit of the hiccups there. So golden ones, as you can see, restore your HP and MP and allow you to save your game. These ones are important. When you see these ones, more than likely you either have A, a boss battle coming up, or you're halfway through a dungeon, more than likely. Now, I say dungeon because... I can't say palaces because they're not quite palaces anymore. They're more exactly like dungeons. So, can't quite use Secret of Mana references even though this is technically Secret of Mana number 3. But, Secret of Mana 2 is technically what this is. Just so you all know. The original uh, Seiken Denetsu used to be, I think, for Game Boy. And uh, it was basically Final Fantasy. You had a little charge bar that if you charged up and you attacked afterwards, you would do your more damage to certain monsters, or you can just sit there and just keep constantly swipe them back and forth. But that game, that that's another time. Anyways, these little guys here, you may have remembered from the original Secret of Mana, how you could go through um, little shortcuts and all that. These guys do nothing like that. There's only one thing they do. They show you the area. Now, you may be wondering, Crow, why, why is this important to me? Why do I need to know about these things? Well, first off, if you don't know the map or the area, this allows you to see which direction you need to go, or which way you must go. Because the map is pretty much in the same dimension in grids for each area that you go through. The only problem with that is you can't normally tell where you're going. So there are some areas that will give you these guys to give you a little bit of a scout to the area so you can see where you need to go. And pay attention to the surroundings on each map, because they will change later on in the game, I've noticed. Oi! Pull yourself together! Ooh, I know that now. Who might you be? I'm dumb for voices. I can't do them right now. I could give Duran a Cartman voice, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I'd probably freak out too if I had a fairy tale me that I just need to take a nap inside your head. And as you guys can tell now, the day and night cycles change automatically. Aha, here we are. So it's finally appeared. Now this is the part that I like that not a whole lot of people know. So, 
when you come to this here, you're going to have your stats that you can increase. Everything is pretty much straightforward except for one. Luck and spirit. Yeah, these two right here. So luck, luck is for opening treasure chests. Whenever you open a treasure chest, there is a pretty much 80% chance that you're going to get a trap in there. So each luck point you have gives you another block to having an OK mark on your trap. Hitting an OK is great. Hitting a Ogre box summons a new box to attack you. So you get the item, but you got to fight to get maybe another item if you're lucky. Now, Spirit. Spirit, I'm not too sure what it represents. I'm pretty sure it represents how much uh, mana you have at the time or how many spells you can cast. Your intelligence, as far as I know, represents the spells required. So if a spell requires you to have more intelligence for it to use, usually that's how it goes. Now, when I got the Magician the first time and I got my first level, I started buffing up my intelligence and spirit right off the bat because that's normally how it goes, right? You go spirit and intelligence for mage. Well... Spirit didn't really do anything. Intelligence was where the magician started to shine. I put intelligence and spirit into a cleric, and same thing. Some spells would appear right away, and other spells just would not appear, even though I had other spirits to give me the spells required. Um, vitality is straightforward. Extra health. Agility allows you to... Um, ready your weapon again faster and strength obviously physical damage increases so because we don't have a whole lot of magic right now we're just going to pump it into strength and just go over it just because we like extra damage If you don't allow him, if you don't allow the character to regain his, just like that, you see how it doesn't save that I've won. And I've still got three bars. If you ever have your bars full, it will always give you one, depending on what class change you got to. So the first class change will always give you one. The second will give you two, and I believe the third one will always keep three at the time, because as you get better and here it is, right here, trap. You see the okays there? How many I've got? I've got one, two, three. All together. Oh, here we go. Okay, 11's not that bad, right? For arrows? Not bad, right? Wait till they're axes. Wait till they're bombs. Wait till they're, tra they're actual traps. They, it, level 2 is nothing. When the ogre boxes start coming out left, right, and center just because you can't open a box, it gets frustrating. Especially with the ogre boxes that have super high physical... Because you can't do nothing to them at the very beginning. You'll do 1, 2 damage, maybe a 20 because you got your power. Or your charge up ability. Oh yes, just also as a, a bonus as well. Luck also represents how many treasure chests you can get at a time. So with two luck, I can get two chests at a time on a page. Or I guess I should say a map zone. 
if I remember correctly. It's been so long since I played this game and tried to figure out what everything did and does. Yeah, if you saw that, I'm sorry, but I had to get close to the black book. Oh my. Yeah, there's a little another thing about this uh, game. It's a lot of uh, moments where you feel like you need to be on the list or something. <laughs> Alright, we're going to just pause it here real quickly. I'll be right back. I just need to go do something real fast. Okay, Doki, break everything while I'm at it, and good to go. Sorry about that, every little better. Of course. I'm not breaking everything, I gotta break everything else. There we go. I swear, if I didn't go then there, I might not have made it. We'll get a little recover here. No, we don't need to save yet. There we go. Yep. Add them up. Okay. 
If anybody is having flashbacks to the original Secret of Evermore, yes. It's one of the last remaining sprites. Too much coincidence. Too much coincidence. Oh yeah, that's right. I said Carly was going to be the uh, going to be on my team too. So I guess I get her right off the bat. I guess I lied to you, ladies and gentlemen. There is a way to get your third person right away. Mind you, I haven't done a magician cleric combo. Ooh, a round guy. Nothing like getting candy. Oh, there's another level. Let's give us a point in luck. Since we can't do our strength. Bam! One hit KO. Oh gosh, here it is. Let's go. What have we got? Ogre box! This is what I was telling you about when it comes back. Oh, we got regular defenses, so this be nice and fast. Nope, no extra box this time. Doesn't matter, we're already here. Oh, here we are. Alright, let's go talk to this priest. I always tell everybody whenever there's a problem with me, I need a priest and a nun. They never ask me why they're nun. May the gods of mana protect us all. Hell's bells, we're not married. Mr. Rand, he just gets thrown around like a rag doll from everybody. And let's just let's put the, let's make this clear, okay? So the first one was from a prophet slapping him in the face. The second one was when we were trying to perv on Angela in the inn, he got slapped and thrown against the wall. And now with the priest, he got thrown to, against the wall by Angela once again. Does this guy weigh like? 20 pounds or something soaking wet? Yeah. 
eight god beasts. Let's just say I'm not going to look forward to that fight ever, if I ever get there. If you guys are there with me, you know, I hope you're all chanting, you know, in the background for that. Because, uh, I guarantee I'll probably die within two seconds. I've never seen one, never met one, don't want to meet one, but I gotta meet one. Is the story time for the priest? The sword of the mind that sent her power for all their spirits. It is the implement which the goddess used to create the world. <sighs> he who holds the sword of mana has power to reset the world, create and destroy life. It sleeps at the base of a man's tree, under constant guard by the fairies. If the sword is drawn before the man's tree dies, there may yet be hope. The gods will awaken to save the world. Your wishes may be granted as well. So if I can get that sword, then I can get rid of all the Crimson Wizard once for all. Where's that tree anyway? How can we get it? Yeah, I'm not doing the fairy voice very well. You'll need to release the energy of the eight man stone. The goddess closed the gate to the holy land. Long ago, it sealed its energy inside the stone. But how have we released it? There was once an ancient spell which could control the stone's energy. What was left for to control this spell, and the world was torn apart. The bloodshed ended after a curse was put on the spell, making it take the castle of life. The spell was lost soon after that. Nobody knows it anymore. Then there's no way. The eight spirits. Oh yeah, I'm not doing the fairy voice. Sorry guys. <laughs> With their combined energies and maybe the awakening. That may work. With the spirit of life. The drive not far from here. Some people have been inside of him near the giant waterfowl. In the cave of waterfowl. <laughs> yeah, not doing girl voices. Sorry. And if nobody recognizes where the song's from, I'm sorry. Shaking my head at you. I'm shaking my head. Do, 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 do. Okay, we got a stalker, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Sorry to cut it off here, guys, but I gotta do some stuff to figure this stuff out. Now I've gotta see what else I can do for this. But anyways, if you liked anything that you've seen so far, you can keep follow me on Twitch. I have YouTube as well under the Crowing Fly, so Crowing Fly Gaming is all you gotta look for. I do also have a mixer. We don't know how often we'll be using those platforms for streaming or anything like that, considering I don't know how well everything works. But if you like what you see here, you should go and check out my buddy, Corey. He, uh, I don't remember his Twitch. I think it's K-Y-O-S-T-I. 
Um, his YouTube is Korobus Lyaski, and his uh, mixer as well. He streams on all three of them all the time. I've been helping him out a lot, so if you like if you see anything that you like here, or if you have any comments or any ideas for what to do or what games you'd like to see or anything like that, leave us a comment. Leave a thumbs up on anything that you see, and uh, yeah, we'll talk to you guys again soon. Have yourselves a good evening. Take care, everyone.